Okay, guys. So this Monday is a little bit different because, uh, for one, I'm still don't have very much of a voice. It's kind of like in and out, in and out. Um, just got back from Punta Cana, not Cabo. Even though I said that like 20 million times, kept on saying Cabo. Um, but I have to tell you guys something. I had this epiphany while we were there. Um, and I just sat there and I thought, like my husband said it to me. He said, Amanda, did you think like, you know, even 10 years ago that we would be sitting at an all-inclusive resort with having a good time with a bunch of amazing people? I mean, my husband um, doesn't have a lot of friends, you know, outside of um, obviously, well, I mean, he, I mean, he doesn't, he just doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of, um, other guys in his life. And that's something that I think I absolutely 100% love about this company is that literally when you go on these getaways, you've got almost as many guys there as you do women and the guys have their own culture. Um, they develop their own friendships and, I can tell you that it's been an amazing thing to see because my husband like would never want to get involved or hang out with anybody or do anything. And um, just being able to hang out with people, it truly is. And I'll tell you guys, these getaways, it's hard to see everybody because the places are so big and there's so much to do. Um, and I just, I want every single one of you guys to experience being spoiled like we are on these getaways. I mean, the dining, the pool parties, the, just the fun, you know, just being able to go out on the beach and, and do whatever you want, um, when you want, because it literally is very little, like not structured very much at all. Um, so you can pretty much do whatever you want, whenever you want. Um, and the thing is, is I do not know when the next getaway is because they are doing, and they've been saying this for a while that they were going to do some kind of leadership retreat. And they are, we do know that they are doing um, an 80, 200 K leadership retreat in June or July. We don't have a date, but we have no confirmation on whether or not the, when the next getaway is going to be. So I don't know if the schedule is going to be shifted a little bit for the getaway. Um, I'm hoping that's what it is. If not, they might just have it. I, I'm guessing it's just going to be shifted a little bit um, because this month is normally a qualifying month, but we've not heard anything about it yet. So I would say just keep your eyes on the prize. Um, you guys, we had that two hundred thousand dollar March mania promotion released today. I want every single person that's on here to take themselves out of their self-limiting doubts and the little belief that you can achieve this because even though those numbers are bigger, okay, now sometimes we tell ourselves what's the point in trying because I'm never going to get it. But I'm here to tell you that we have had people on this team earn those big ass bonuses. Okay. And we have seen people literally, I think, um, I think Giselle might've hit like 14 or 15,000 last year. I know twin, um, has certainly earned like the higher, like $20,000 or something like that. And she had multiple girls on her team that earned 13, 14 and 15 or something like that thousand. Um, so I want you guys to know that this literally isn't anybody's game. Kayla's on there right now. I don't know if anybody else is yet because I haven't had a chance to look. Um, so I just, I want nobody to say, you know what? I can't do it because we had a girl last, last month, guys, that literally went 12 K almost completely by herself, her own volume with customers ordering balance and lifestyle mix. Okay. So I want you guys to understand that, yes, you can find people's budgets, find what their goals are and work with them and stay consistent. So I've asked um, Kayla and Ashley because I didn't know how much time I would have to prepare or if I was even going to be able to be on here. Um, so let's start with Kayla um because i know her and she's probably already got this all set up and organized for going over the recap look she does she does she was a teacher so she's going to go over the recap from punta cana the announcements um and just all the goodiness and then i asked ashley to hop on here 
Um, and actually for a couple of reasons, I wanted to ask her to hop on here um, because I think that she has a killer game plan in place, um, but also she had some obstacles this past week. And instead of throwing in the towel or um, just like allowing herself to beat herself up, she got a game plan in place and is back with fire and ready to kill it. So Kayla, do you want to go ahead and listen guys? I'm going to tell you this. So maybe I needed to like not be here on time because Kayla gives a better update than me because I would be all over the place. So Kayla, Miss Teacher Kayla, can you please, please, please stand up and take over this Zoom because I just know you're going to bring some fire. So I'm going to turn off my microphone. You're so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like I can't do anything without notes or note cards or things like that. So whenever people are talking to me, I mean, even lives, everything. So this is just side note for those of you that are still struggling to do lives on every single live I do. I have note cards. Y'all just don't see them. Like I have to have a game plan for everything. So anyways, going over the Kunta Kana trip. Oh my gosh. It was insane. I mean, this was by far my favorite getaway that I've ever gone on. I did not really know what to expect. I've been to all-inclusive resorts. This was like a whole different level. So I stayed Thursday through Sunday. And whenever I first got there, oh my gosh, hold on. I'm going to have to look at chat because I know there's people on here that was there. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I first got there, I was just amazed. This place was massive, like so big that they had to have golf carts carry us around to the different buildings or to the lobby or and there was always golf carts coming by and so it was super easy but whenever i first saw it i thought this is insane there was those huge palm trees everywhere there were pools everywhere um and then we had our own little bracelet when we checked in it was purple and said lavelle so every time i was on a golf cart i was able to look at armbands and know like are you with lavelle or do i need to talk to you about lavelle so yeah it was so much fun day one though we arrived um i the, all the restaurants i didn't even get to experience them all i don't know if anyone did because i think there was nine different restaurants and then there was an ice an ice cream place where you could go and get dessert we did do that um then there was a mini bar and a jacuzzi in our room. So whenever we first walked in, I mean, immediately I was just taken back. Guys, this is stuff I would never experience any other way. Anyway, like these are dream board places. When you walk in and there's just a jacuzzi in the middle of your room with like steps down on both sides for you to get in it. And then a beautiful balcony, like massive that you can go out there and sit on. Um, the beach had like the little huts that you could get under with trees, with um, a guy serving you anything you wanted, with music playing. I mean, it just was unreal. Then day two happened. Day two is when Lisa took us out on the Malibu party boat. Once again, something I would never be able to experience any other way. They took us snorkeling around the reef, which was crazy. I was so scared for my husband. I did not get in the water at the snorkeling part. I was scared for my husband and my friends that were out there, but I was videoing and taking pictures, so they got back safely. Then they took us and we saw dolphins, and then we went, we found like this, well, we didn't find. They took us to, they called it a natural pool, but it was like a sandbar where we all got out and just was able, it was like chest deep water, able just to hang out they had like a floating bar that they brought out to us and would serve us drinks while we were all just swimming around visiting talking um other boats would pull up and so there was tons of people in the water just having fun there was volleyballs there were footballs and i mean it was just this private little pool in the middle of the ocean insane like one of those moments that you're just standing there and i had so many of them while i was there thinking is this my life because there's no way i would ever get to experience it i'm going to just keep saying that i guess any other way then that night we had the gold party and they as soon as the ceos got up there they said we have three big announcements which blew my mind because um, Jason made the post a few days before saying something we're going to announce is going to drop pounds off. And I was not expecting that at all. Like I was not expecting anything to do with weight management, weight loss, nothing like that. So 
I was, whenever he said three announcements, I thought, what in the world is going on? The first thing they announced was Blast. This is antioxidants. It does have your elderberry in it, which people are going crazy for. I have so many people that are getting this or getting a sample of it. Um, to try out. It tastes so good. I like this better than Activate. I like this better than Boost. Um, it tastes amazing. And if you start looking up, an amazing live to do would be just benefits of antioxidants and then saying, you know, give a few benefits and say, if you want more information, just or if you want the other tips, message me and I can get them to you and bring up Blast because there are so many benefits of antioxidants and elderberry. And it tastes so good like this is one that you can send a sample to and not have to be scared of it because people will love it yeah it tastes just like a juice chad tried it without looking at the ingredients and immediately said cranberry and grape which are two of the first ingredients that are listed so i tasted it and i was like it's fruit punch like i'm not good with taste though it tastes good regardless so they announced blast antioxidants and elderberry are the big thing with it then they said they're bringing back ultra and i think the entire crowd like went crazy because if you've ever if you were around when ultra was around that was by far the favorite dft from so many myself included i stole one from talissa when we were in tennessee and she's never given me another one which whatever you know whatever but it's so awesome and they've upgraded it so now it has more force lane and more garcinia than any other dft out there so more than duo more than burn more than um the premium more than black label more than white label it has more than any other they said on stage that the the before and after pictures this is going to create are going to be unlike any others that have ever been created so like we're about to be in for a huge treat. And real quick, what I'm doing to set up for that, I'm messaging a ton of people, y'all know, getting everybody ready for Ultra. And I have a ton of people getting the, uh, what is it, the lifestyle pack, which is capsules and shakes, because I know I'm probably not going to be able to do credits with Ultra. So I'm giving them $15 credits to cover taxes and shipping for my free credit day. And they're getting the shakes and the capsules, and then they know they're getting Ultra as soon as it launches. So that way, you know, it makes it where they're locked in to get ultra and I'm going to be able to give them a little bit of a discount on the capsules and shakes. So that's how I'm preparing for ultra. And then for the third surprise, <laughs> which we still really don't know much about, but they they played this video and it said anti-aging on it. It's shown a lot of faces and then it said CBD. And we all were just like, what and they said but it's going to be delivered in a way like nobody else is doing they're waiting on patents that's why it hasn't been launched yet and they i wish i could remember the exact quote and maybe some of y'all will but he said how others are doing the cbd industry it's like brain do y'all remember that quote no i mm -hmm. don't I can't remember it, but it was so good. Maybe somebody has a video of it. But he said how others are doing in the CBD industry, like they're not touch or they're not tapping into so many benefits that CBD can do. And that's what Lavelle is tapping into. Like this three-step system that they're getting ready to launch, and he kept saying that three-step system that they're getting ready to want, uh, launch, that people will be able to fill it in five minutes. So this is going to be unlike anything else out there. And you already know Lavelle brings the best to the best. So I've seen so many people post about, you know, like, what are the benefits of CBD? Who uses CBD? And guys, people are crazy over that right now. And if we're tapping into it in a way that nobody else is doing, this is, and they said that um, they compared it to when they launched the three steps of Thrive. And they said, you know, when we launched the three steps of Thrive, it created these millions upon millions of business. And that's exactly what this three step system is going to do. But it has CBD. It has something to do with CBD. So there's those three announcements, which we were all just like mind blown. I think I was most excited about Ultra <laughs> because I just know spring break and summer coming up, guys, and it's March. It's March Madness. People's getting taxes back. If you set up for this right, you can make so many big things happen. I'm in the mindset where I'm like, I'm going to work when everybody is sleeping. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm messaging everyone. I want everyone to be ready for this. Like that's the mindset that I'm in right now. And I'm not backing away from it. I want on that leaderboard. I want, you know, I wanted the triple fast starts. I want everything they offer this month. I don't want to leave anything on the table. So why not you? Like that's where I'm at. 
then day three was a complete chill day. They're just like, you know, there wasn't really anything on the plan. So you got to do whatever you wanted. They did have the VIP event that night. Me and Chad spent the day on the beach. It was amazing. But the biggest thing with these events are the people that you're surrounded with. Like you are surrounded with so much inspiration. You're surrounded with the dreamers, with the workers, with the hustlers, and you leave there with a fire in your belly like nothing else. And that's what I'm hoping that you get from this Zoom. Like all the energy, all the fire, all the motivation, all the inspiration to make this month yours. Because the thing is, it's the fourth, I think, is it the fourth? Hold on, let me look. Yeah, it's the fourth. So we basically have like as many days in this month left as all of February, pretty much. So like, what do you want to do? Set your goals, whatever they are, and don't back away from them because with Ultra coming out, <laughs> anything is possible. Kayla, anything. I, I, I want to stop you there for just one second okay. because you signed um, like 14 customers last month, right? Yes. And there's some people that have really been struggling, you know, with the customers and, you know, we've talked about this multiple times. I, I truly don't think that people realize that we all hit those like roadblocks and we hit those periods of like drought, like where we're like, okay, like I'm planning, I'm planning, I'm planning. In fact, I remember in January, us having that conversation is this is just our planning season um, because you weren't signing a whole bunch at that point. Um, and what would you suggest or give a tip? I don't know what that noise is. Um, what would you give that tip to somebody that is right now like, okay, you guys are telling me to go for this, but I haven't signed anybody for a while. What would you give that person? Well, I mean, like you said, we go through those planting seasons, those watering seasons, and those harvest seasons, and you have to hustle just as hard, if not harder, in the planting and the watering just as much as you do in the harvesting. So somehow you are going to have to harness the energy like you just signed 14 people, like you really are. Whenever I was in January, the reason why I know I signed 14 or 15 people in February, if you combine me and my husband's accounts, the reason why I know that is because I went into February with a PBA of one. <laughs> so it was really easy for me to know how many I was signing in February. So I don't know what your PPA is. If it's zero, then that's one less than I went into February with. If it's more than one, then you have more than me. But you've got to harness this energy. Like you have to say, you know what, forget it. I'm going live for 14 days, which is what our challenge had us do in January. Thank God for that. Because that made me harness energy. I'm going to go live for 14 days straight. I'm going to do a live challenge and I'm just going to do it for myself. You've got to remember what your why is right now. That's what's going to push you more than anything else. Whatever your why is, whether it's, I want to take it. We're coming up to summer and some of you have never taken your family on a family vacation or it's been a really long time since you have. Are you seriously going to sit there in the month that somebody else in your same position is going to skyrocket to the top, make thousands of dollars and sit there and say, well, we're just going to have another summer with no summer vacation. Like that would eat me up inside. I can't do that. So you've got to remember what your why is. That's going to push you more than anything else. Harness the energy like you have just been a massive enroller. And I promise you, if you, if you start getting into that mindset and you start taking those actions, the payoff will come. But sometimes the actions and the mindset have to happen first. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know what? You um, literally just nailed it <laughs> and you gave an awesome summary of Punta Cana and all the announcements and all the incredibleness that's to come and um I'll tell you what I know I didn't I didn't tell Jessica cut right that or Kurt right Jesus I, I say her name wrong every single time uh every single time I didn't ask her to hop on here or anything but I see that she's on um and I I want to say this she was at a place where it was like, she just kept on hitting this wall. She'd get to like 2k and she wasn't getting over it. And she wasn't like none, like nobody was really like no volume was coming in from anybody, but her really, um, for a while. And now, um, she, she got over that and she started messaging people just, Hey, how are you? Or hope you're having a good day. Um, just sparking up those conversations. And, um, that's going to kind of lead into, and you know what guys, she, she also, she did something else too. And I got to say this because <clears throat> there's many of you all that struggle to close. Okay. You struggle to close the customer. You might get people that are asking you questions, but then it never leads to that customer or that promoter thing. Right. So 
I want to challenge you if you're struggling with closing people, you've got interest happening because you've gotten consistent. If you've not gotten consistent, you can't complain about not signing customers because you have to focus on your own actions. Um, you have to say, you know what, I'm going to get up an hour early every day. You don't have to get up at six, guys. I choose to get up at six because I want to kick some ass, okay? But I'm just saying you can get up an hour early. You can get up 30 minutes early. You can stay to bed um, a half hour later, okay? Like, you have to decide that it's going to be a priority because like Kayla just said, if you want to go on that summer vacation, that $2,000 bonus that you can get for going 4K can fund your, two, can fund your summer vacation, okay? That $2,000 bonus can fund your summer vacation. You want a bigger vacation? That twelve, that $6,000 bonus for going 12K will fund your summer vacation. Not counting what your weekly checks will be, not counting your um, you know, car bonus that you're also going to get. I want you guys to understand, and, and Jessica, is it okay? Just say yes. Is, is it okay for me to share a little bit about your story? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Jess said, Amanda, I, I can't close. So I said, send me the conversation that you're having with somebody. Send me your conversations, right? Then she learned. She learned how to start talking to those people because she would shoot me a message and I would help guide her in the direction she needed to. You guys got to start utilizing our chats. We have team chats. We have team pages. If you're struggling, you can do that to anybody. If your sponsor's not available, pop it in one of those team chats. I promise you somebody will help you, either myself or somebody else. Don't send all the messages to me though because I don't want to feel bad for not being there to help you, okay? Because <laughs> there's way too many of y'all for all that business. <laughs> but I can tell you, um, regardless, so find the chat that is active, put up your question, say, how should I respond to this? Somebody will guide you. If it needs to go into a three-way chat, somebody can get into a three-way chat with you and that person to help you close. You've got to start getting minis out though. But Jess, her husband was laid off, okay? He's had some health issues. She's got some health issues. They were at the point where I don't want to get evicted. You know, she's like, you know, I've got to make this work because my husband lost his job. My health's not the greatest. I've got two kids. Like I'm working at, you guys, she is on that zoom every morning. She sends me the conversations. She gets the minis out. She puts me in three-way chats. She literally is on our team calls, our team Zooms. At any challenge that is out there, she's doing it while working full-time, while raising two kids, while having her husband that's not doing the greatest health-wise. Why is she doing that? Because she wants to provide for her family, and she knows it's either go get another job or bust ass and not worry about what people have to say about you, right? So, Jess, I, I just want you to know, three kids, not two, Jesus Christ. Rhymeny, no wonder I didn't remember that. <laughs> Maybe it's the tiki little lingering from three nights ago. Damn Linda. I don't, she's probably not on right now, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Is she on? The other Linda. I see other Linda on right now. Listen, I'm telling you guys. Um, I'm was, on the one with three kids. I'm on. No, 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 no. Linda Tran. Listen, she was like, you're drinking the tequila. I wish you guys could have seen her. It was hilarious. <laughs> we hilarious. Call her bull, we call her bulldog. Yeah, well, <laughs> I saw it. I saw it and I warded off tequila now because never again. But no, on a for real note though, um, it, it's a matter of, you want to come over that, then you've got to make sure you're putting in the work. You've got to make sure that you're getting those minis out. You're staying consistent. You're, um, you know, really starting to uh, send those conversations to people. And then you guys will 100% start to see a turnaround when your mindset shifts to this is what I'm working for. It's not, oh, this person told me no. Oh, this person... Um, or nobody's messaging me, nobody's calling me, nobody's asking me for minis, da, 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 and so on and so on and so on. Your focus has to shift for, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this because this is what it's going to mean for my family. 
this is what it's going to provide me with. This is going to help me pay my rent. This is going to help me pay my electric bill. This is going to help me pay my car payments or um, vacation for my kids for the first time. And I want, if you guys do not have it, you take pictures of this stuff and put it somewhere you can see it. Okay. I bought a shirt on my way home from Putacana. My board is going to be a little bit different now. I bought a shirt um, at Hard Rock. And anybody that's a bigger girl can tell you. And even if you're not a bigger girl, those sizes run small. Okay. So I bought a shirt, a tank top that I'm going to wear this summer. And it's going to make me look beautiful. Okay. And I want you to understand that I bought those things because that's my goal. And if I see it, I'm going to do it. And the same thing with your vision board, as cheesy as it sounds, Lacey hadn't made a vision board guys for years and years and years and years. The moment she made that vision board and she put certain people on her vision board, it all started happening. I want you guys to believe that anything can happen for you, okay? Personal development is 100% is so important. If you're not doing it, you need to do it, but you need to spend 15 minutes a day and move on. Because if not, you can get so wrapped up in the way your feels are, it'll just eat you up and you won't make any action. So just don't get, don't get you know, stuck in that one. Kayla, is there anything else that you can think of before we unleash Ashley? on to everybody because she's got some she's got some amazing stuff to share yeah no i don't think i do i'm excited to hear her so yeah i'm good yeah i'm, I'm excited hey listen i see i see somebody said i gotta keep pushing and not give up i want every single one of you guys to remove that word those two words give up from your vocabulary because i'm going to tell you what I have wanted to give up about a million times over the past six years and remove discouraged, okay? Because by golly, I can tell you it's going to get damn hard because the bigger the rewards that you want, the harder it's going to be. You are going to have people leave you that you thought would be there with you you are going to have obstacles that hit you. You're going to have death in your family. I hate to say that because it is true. Somewhere along the lines on this journey throughout the years, somebody will pass away that you care about and it'll knock your breath away. It's happened to me. This year, you guys saw, um, you know, we lost four grandparents in a matter of the last six months, you know? And that's hard. I lost my dad two years ago. That knocked my breath out, knocked my wind away, right? You're going to have people sick. You're going to have loss of jobs. You're going to have evictions. I mean, you're going to have all these different life obstacles that are going to come and smack you in the face. You have to point out and you have to start focusing in on why am I doing this? And I can tell you this. There is no greater group of people than the people that are here because I have never in the four years that I was in network marketing before this, I have never experienced anything like the friendships I have since I have been with this company. I have never experienced people that will lift me up and say, get your ass out of bed I'll beat you there ever in my life, guys, ever. And I'm going to tell you, it sure as hell is fun to be able to celebrate with those people and see them start checking off those things off their dream board, okay? So it is 100% worth it. And I'm not talking about just these getaways because some of you guys can't do that right now. Maybe you don't have a sitter. I didn't have a sitter for years and years and years. And my husband definitely was not in the place. Just, uh, you know, the, he, he, I normally go on these trips without him. He normally stays home. But now he's gotten a taste for it and met, met friends along the way that he's going to conference. This will be the first conference in six years that my husband has ever gone to. And by golly, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Now I've got to find a room though for him because I already got my room booked with people. So he's like, 
I got to get a room. And I'm like, our hotel's booked. I don't know what to tell you. So anyways, he might be bunking with the creeps. <laughs> um, but okay, Ashley, 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 you know, I could just talk all night. Um, so Ashley, I'm just gonna let you go to town with this because you have a solid game plan on place. You were here, you got a team together um, for this March Madness. You're definitely more in the loop than I am because I couldn't watch videos and all the Google Docs. You guys kept on asking me questions and all my Google Docs were in Spanish, okay? They're all in Spanish. While I was in uh, Punta Cana, I couldn't read. I couldn't understand half the people there. I discovered that I definitely needed to do better in my four years of Spanish, obviously. So anyways, um, Ashley, go to town, baby, because you got a plan. And, and also, if you want to, if you want to, I'd like you to share the emotions that you had over the last few days whenever uh, what happened happened. Because, like we said, you're going to have obstacles, okay? You're going to have obstacles, and you get a choice on how you're going to deal with them. All right, Ashley, I love you, girl, because I you're going to see her go 40K this month because she's determined. Okay, go for it, girl. All right. So, yep, probably going to cry. <sighs> All right. So, um, I mean, you guys know how, how incredibly awesome last fall was when I got started. Um, it was insane. It was so insane and exciting and coming into this industry. And I had no idea how incredible this, this could be. I had no idea about the potential. I had no idea how impactful the people around me were going to be. Um, and I came in and I was so excited and all these amazing things happened and I worked so hard and I started making these incredible friendships and I started seeing a side of myself that I didn't even know was there. And I started learning a lot about myself and it was amazing. It was so amazing. Um, and then over the course of the winter, definitely had some struggles. I had a zero PPA. I went from a almost 50 PPA to a zero. Um, and I knew it though. I could feel it. I could absolutely feel it inside of me that it was just that time. And I, I knew that it would turn a corner. I knew that it would come full circle. And so I did it every single day. I have, since the day I signed, there has not been one day that I have not posted. There has not been one day that I have not done IPAs. I do my 20 to 20 every single day and I've always done it no matter what is going on in my life. And when I qualified, for this trip, I can tell you, my husband and I, um, the day before we got married, we both lost our jobs. Um, we were working at the same place. He was my boss. And um, they shut down the company without any notice at all. The sheriff's department came and chained the doors and gave us two hours to vacate the premises. So we um, both lost our jobs. And it was the day before we were to get married. I was pregnant with our first daughter. We were so freaking scared. Um, and we canceled everything. We never had our wedding. We never went on our honeymoon. Um, I, re I tried to get back as much money as I possibly could. I lost so much money in that. But um, it didn't really matter because all that really mattered is that we were about to have the most incredible baby ever and that we were starting our life together. So we kept pushing forward. So when I qualified for this trip, it was huge. For the first time in my life, I had a passport. For the first time in my life, I was going somewhere with my husband, like really going somewhere, like not to the Dells or not on a weekend trip. Like we were really going somewhere and I was packed and I was ready and everything was set and I was so freaking excited. We had so many plans. Um, and about a week ago, I started having some health stuff. I started having a lot of pain. I started having a bunch of stuff going on and, um, I didn't really think anything of it. Well, we get to the airport and that was such a hassle, you know, like it was, it was one roadblock after another coming up into this trip. Like first I was having a bunch of issues with myself and getting checked out by all these specialists. And then we get to the airport and initially there was bad weather in our connecting flight. So they canceled our connecting flight. They changed our flight. 
Oh, sorry. Hang on. I got to give kisses. Okay. Love you. Shut the door behind you. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Um, and it was like four different times that our flight got changed, got canceled. Um, we slept in the Chicago airport waiting for this all to work out. And meanwhile, everybody's messaging me. Where are you? Are you here yet? What's happening? And I'm going, it's okay. We're going to be late. We're going to miss the excursion. It's fine. We're still going to get there. Who cares if we only have a day? It doesn't even matter. We're going like we're leaving the country together. We're doing this. And meanwhile, I'm working and I signed up a couple customers and I'm like, man, this is my time. This is it. This is the moment. And, um, yeah, it didn't happen. Um, when they finally got everything figured out, they, after they changed our flight four different times, after we slept in the freaking airport, which was horrible, it was horrible, um, they finally realized that his plane ticket had some kind of error. It didn't even have us going to the right place. The only reason, way they could get us there is if we took an 18 hour layover in Miami, which then we would never get there in time anyways. So we had to cancel. Um, and what happens when you cancel with no notice is then you also have to pay Lavelle because they're paying for all of this stuff. So now I owe $700 for our, our room because they forked out that money for me to be there. Um, so it was really devastating. When I tell you, I guarantee that there's someone out there right now circulating a video of me hysterically crying in the Chicago airport because I was a freaking mess. I was a complete mess. Um, Meanwhile, in the midst of all of that airport stuff, I was having a whole lot of pain, um, went to the emergency room down there and now I just got back just now, right before the zoom, I just got back from another, um, ultrasound. So there's something going on. Um, I have some like ginormous cysts on my ovaries and, um, I got to go get that taken care of. But anyway, so all of that happened. I was a wreck. I was in pain. I was hysterical. My husband is super disappointed, but meanwhile, he's trying to like comfort me. So I thought back to when we got married or didn't get married, <laughs> when we got married at the courthouse instead of our wedding. And I thought back to the promise that we made each other that when crap would really hit the fan and things would get really, really bad, we would allow ourselves like five minute tantrums and you're allowed to have that five minutes of self-pity and you're allowed to feel sorry for yourself, but then it becomes unproductive and you need to pick your damn self up and you need to move on. Because me sitting there hysterical with my suitcase, thinking about all these memories that I should have been making and feeling so defeated, I was like, no, hell no, this is what's happening. I am gonna go fucking 40K, sorry, I am gonna go 40K I am going to get myself and my family to a place that if something like that happened, I'd be able to afford to freaking buy whatever plane ticket I needed to. I'd be able to afford to do whatever I needed to do to get there. I am not going to be victim to my finances anymore. I am not going to be in this position where everyone else gets to dictate what happens in my life and what I do and I do not do. So I got done. So by the time we were back in my car, I had already sent out 30 messages um, the entire way home. That's what I did. So what I had done last week is I ordered from Vistaprint um, these really cool little things from the sticky note challenge that Amanda had posted in the page and I changed it up a little bit. But um, these are all the people that I've messaged since my non-trip. So I don't know if you can see the board, but I am. I just going... want to congratulate you because that is bad ass. That is bad ass. Can you guys see those, those people show them how big those little cards are so they can get a look at this. Some of y'all have never messaged that many people ever in your life. Total. So that, um, 
it's just a little post-it note. And what's cool about it is it has message one, message two, message three, message four, the date they replied, notes, so I can put down looking for energy or you know, looking for weight management, whatever. The date they set their, their free account, the date they like the fan page, 24 hour call, three way call, the date they try their mini experience, and then when they ordered as a customer promoter and when they're thriving free. So a lot of those, I'm already on my third message. Ashley, um, did you watch the um, sticky note challenge? Is that what you yep. used for this? Yep. Yep. And um, Amy, if you type in sticky note challenge or sticky note onto the team page, it should pop up on It'll give you and on level up, but it's also, I think on team thrive nation, YouTube channel, isn't it? Yep. And it'll give you a link directly to Vista print. And I changed it up a little bit. I changed the colors. I changed a couple of the things, but you can do it however you want, but it'll be all set up free in Vista print. And if you use the code, why not all is one word, you get 50% off. Um, I have a bunch of free codes now that I, or I ordered so much stuff. So, okay. So I'm on two or three messages with all of those people. And I'm telling you guys, I came to a point after this happened to me and it may, you know, it may sound silly, but I seriously felt like for a moment, I felt like this was it. This was a sign. I was never going to do this. Like this was the universe's way of telling me that I, you know, wasn't worthy. And I had those five minutes and I'm telling you, I was a freaking mess. I was a freaking mess. Um, and then I thought, no. I'm right where I need to be. Had I gotten on that plane and been where I was supposed to be, I never would have went to the hospital. There's no way. I would have blown it off all weekend. Who knows what that could have turned into. I'm here for a reason and I'm going to make the freaking most of it. So most of those people, I'm on my second or third message. And you guys, when you are messaging people, you have to get to that point. You have to get to that point in your head where you know that you're doing something that's going to help them. You would be doing them a disservice if you did not make that message. You have to have that mindset. So some of these, some of these people I've never talked to. So the ones that I've never talked to before, I've, they have never interacted with them. I haven't built a relationship with them um, or I haven't talked to them in a really long time. You know when freaking messenger turned into that night mode thing? That's what I sent to people. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you this. Have you seen this night moon thing? Send me a moon real quick. That's what I sent them. And I cannot tell you how many of those messages, I mean, I would, I would have to bet probably 25 of those messages that I've sent so far, somehow they have asked about either the business or the products already. They have brought it up. And I messaged them asking them to send me a moon emoji. And that's how it turned into. Now the ones that that I've talked to already, I'll message something like, I'll put up a post about minis and then I'll message them and I'll go, oh my gosh, I remember you were interested a really long time ago and I didn't even think of you, but I just posted this post about minis. I am so sorry. Do you want to grab one before they're gone? And they say, yes, I've sold 19 minis. They say, yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you for thinking of me. Like, like now I have to go and order another 400 kit tonight because I'm, I'm going to be completely out of my husband and mine, but like we're using all of our products. Like it's crazy. You guys don't be afraid of it at all. Another one I'm using is I use the happy. Oh, that's another one. I'll send people a voice clip and I I'll mass send it. I'll send a voice clip and I'll be like, Oh my gosh, happy Monday. I just want to let you know you're amazing. I hope you have a great day and I will forward it to people. And I cannot tell you how many people message back like, oh my gosh, I got a message. I shared it with my team. It was so incredible. This one guy, I worked for him when I was a teenager. I've been friends with him on Facebook since I was 18. So like 12 years, like since I had Facebook, I've been friends with him on Facebook. Um, I messaged him that happy Sunday thing yesterday. He messages back, are you selling Lavelle Thrive? And I was like, yeah, I'm a promoter. And he goes, I was a promoter in 2000. And I think he said like right in the beginning, 2013, 2014. And I introduced it to the trucking world. He's a huge, um, I don't know. He does something with trucking, but he's like, I introduced it to the trucking world back then. And it took too much of my time and I couldn't do it. Now he's talking to me about promoting like, and he has experience and he's done it before. And it's, and I've been his friend forever. You guys, I have, I've been his friend forever. He's friends with my family. He has never seen my posts. 
He had no idea what I was doing. And I swear, I post about it every freaking day. And if you guys aren't just get, take away the fear thing, because you have to think about back in the day before you were doing this, you would message people and you would talk to people and it wasn't weird at all. When you wanted to say hi to someone, you would say hi to them and you didn't think twice about it. But now because you have something to offer them that is going to change their life, you get this complex in your head that's not even real. And you think about those people because there are those network marketers out there that do the spammy stuff and there are the people that complain about it. So you get this complex in your head like, I can't message them because they're going to think I'm selling to them. No, message them because you're, they're your friend and you want to talk to them. And, and first and, off, I got to stop you right there because... Here's the deal, guys. If you're not adding friends every day, you're not networking. If you're not talking to people every day, you're not networking. Network marketers have to network to make money, period, in the story. You have to sell stuff. You do. <laughs> I mean, yes, we do share. You don't want to sell when you're like posting, but you do sell stuff. So the primary thing is you have to ask for that sometimes. You have to let people know about specials and deals because if you don't know about, if you don't let them know about specials and deals, it's not like they get a newspaper every Wednesday that tells them this is the specials and this is the deals at Ashley shop today or this week. They don't know. Just because you know about it doesn't mean that they know about it. And they might be somebody like me with a hundred thousand emails that they never check. Okay. A hundred thousand. Yeah. Literally a hundred thousand. Okay. Um, so, okay, Ashley, sorry, go ahead. I just had to say, so, that. you know, you guys, there's this thing and like the technical, I wrote it down somewhere. The technical term for it is systematic desensitizing. Literally anything you're afraid of, you can make yourself not afraid of it. And it takes time and it takes like small exposures over and over again. But if you're afraid of going in and asking someone for that sale, you need to do it little by little and you need to build your confidence. I went to this ultrasound tonight and this lady had to probe up my vajayjay while she's looking at my ovaries and she goes, what is that patch on your chest? And I was like, what? That's my nutrition patch. Have you never heard of that before? And she's like, no. And I'm like, seriously, you've never heard of Thrive? And she's like, no. And I said, oh my gosh, it's my nutrition. I feel freaking incredible. So she left with my card. I left giving her my card. She wouldn't let me walk out the door without getting my card. And she's super excited. The ultrasound technician. And I'm telling you, five months ago, there's no way I would have had the courage to say anything to anyone. I wouldn't even look up. When I would go into the store, I wouldn't even look up at people. I would be focused on what I was doing and my kids. And I would not even look up. And if you believe in yourself for one moment, and Amanda talks all the time about how much she believes in you, how much she knows you're capable of doing. You need to borrow that belief. And when you go to talk to someone, you need to remember those people, your team, your uplines, your downlines that believe in you. And you need to borrow that belief for just that five seconds and do it. And every time you do it, it gets easier and easier until it's second nature. And you don't feel weird at all like at all. So you need to go and you need to send those messages. And it's, if you get a board, if you get the book, if you get the charts, I mean, there's like five different charts. I know Brittany made this incredible five, four, three, two, one chart for it. Um, there's a ton out there. You literally can put five, four, three, two, one in the search bar on the team pages. And there's all kinds of stuff that you can find whatever it is that works for you. Like it doesn't even matter. And you know, there's one thing that I've been doing lately because I've been really struggling to like with all the things that have been happening in my life, I don't want to post about all of that. So I'm struggling to find real authentic things to post about that I'm passionate about. So you know what I do now? I have my phone with me everywhere I go. Every time something makes me feel emotion, I put it in my notes section on my phone. It doesn't matter if it's happy or sad or whatever it is. If something in my life in that moment makes me feel emotion, a strong emotion, I write it down and that's what I go live about. That's what I'll make my posts about. That's what I do my five, four, three, two, one about. And whether it's, you know, I see someone treat someone badly and I want to go on a rant on a live about it, or if my kids do something super hilarious and it makes me like well up with pride, then I go live about it. 
You guys use these five, four, three, two, ones to completely put yourself out there and connect with people in the most aggressive way that you ever have in your entire life. If there is not, I don't know what bigger sign you can have in the entire universe than all of these promotions going on. And it doesn't matter if you don't even hit one of them, because if you go all out and you throw your entire heart and being and soul into it, and you believe with everything that you can do it, it doesn't matter what the outcome is, you're making motion. And every single step forward is forward motion. You're making progress, you're expanding your network, you're building relationships, you're building a real legitimate business. The only time you're going to fail is if you stand still and you don't move at all. You know, Ashley, um, I'm, I'm glad you said that because the thing is, is that I I've seen it. I've been in this industry now for six years this month. Um, and I can tell you this, I have seen people push, 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 fall short on a bonus and give up. And I want people to understand that I want people to understand, and I'm going to address something else here in just a second. I want people to understand that it's not about the bonus. The bonus is a perk. So work your ass off and go get it, right? But you want the long-term residual. I have no bonuses attached right now to my income, okay? None, not, not a single one. And I make almost a month what I used to make in a year as a nurse. Do you hear that? And I want you to understand something. I get up every day. I work my business every day. I show up every day, even if it's kind of like funky time right now. I love people every day. Some days I want to choke them but I still love them. <laughs> At least I'm being honest. I carry every, every single person that tells me their why I carried on my shoulders. Okay. And in my heart. And when you tell me that you're going through a rough time, I'm probably going to bring it up. Okay. Because I want it so badly for you on a personal level. I want to fight for you but sometimes you don't want to fight for you. And that's heartbreaking. Um, I, I, oh, 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 Joe, you're not. Okay. Got you muted. Um, I, I want you guys to understand that you're going to fall short sometimes, you know, just like Ashley had this big old smack. I've seen people give up and quit. I've seen people fall short of a $12,000 bonus for $10. And then quit. Okay. Where would they be today if they never quit? Probably making some kind of money, right? Thank you. So I want you guys to realize that there's going to be those challenges. What you do going past it. Um, <laughs> Jess definitely needs to share her story. Um, Joe, you keep on coming unmuted, hon. If you're on your phone, can you hit mute on your phone? I'm trying. Okay, there we go. Jess, do you want to come on real quick and share this? Make me miss my own. Sorry. Joe just keeps on Are coming unmuted. Are you talking unmuted. to me? Yes. What do you want me to share? No, no, not you, not you, not oh. you. Not you. Sorry. Too many guesses. It's kind of like the name Amanda. No. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. 100%. Jess. Okay. It's really dark here. <laughs> so um, you guys just heard Ashley's story, but Jess is getting a lot of messages now because of her going 4K last month and making that turnaround. And um, she's just going to share her story real quick with you guys because the messages can get overwhelming to try to respond to. Um, so I was with a previous company, like a lot of you guys were, and, um, you know, I wasn't really successful. I think I got to like the second rank and you no, know, I only got there because I was pregnant with my, um, my personally second child, but we have three kids now. And then I get this message in the middle of summer 
that my enroller is leaving and going over to Lavelle. So she sends me these couple Lisa Fuller videos and I jumped ship. I said, if I can be consistent with something, then I'm going to go for it. And I tried a three day mini. Um, I was blown away and I can't make medical claims, but this is like a private team thing. So I'm going to share that. I hope that's okay. Is that Fine. okay, Amanda? Fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I was 21 years old when I found out that I have multiple sclerosis and I'm going to get emotional. Um, I couldn't walk for two weeks and being 21 and can't walk for two weeks, it's really heartbreaking. And um, um, from that time on, because it takes so much energy to just get up out of bed, it takes so much energy to do the things that I need to do. And today I'm 28 years old. And if it wasn't for Thrive, I wouldn't have the energy to be the best mom that I need to be. I wouldn't have the energy to do the things that I need to do. I work in a casino. I work, luckily I work day shift hours, but there's times I don't get off until eight, 10 o'clock at night. There's times I have to work 14 to 16 hour shifts. And if it wasn't for these products, I don't know where I would be. But I joined Lavelle in June of 2017. I never hit a VIP 800. I never hit a VIP 1600. Never hit it when it, they did the re-VIPs, which they usually do a couple times a year. Never. Um, this past, I think it was November, my enroller decided again to leave. And I chose to stay. I can't leave something behind that has changed my life so dramatically. It honestly gave me my life back. And um, you know, I've always followed Amanda and, you know, she's an amazing leader. But then when my leader left, Amanda's like, I'm adopting you. And I'm like, okay, so how do I do this? And so we got closer and the closer we get, like, I realized how much we actually have in common. And she pushes me. She believes in me. She tells me how much she's proud of me. I didn't have that with my enroller that I had. She would tell me, oh, you're doing good. Just keep going. But there, you never felt the love behind it, the passion behind it, guys. When Amanda says that she holds you guys to her heart, she really does. Um, because I was going through so much. Um, I actually had an eviction notice um, in the middle of April. And um, we got paperwork in January that they wanted to repo our car. We filed bankruptcy last year in 2018 because of another car that got repoed and um it just everything started piling down and I, I told Amanda what was going on and I said you know my why has changed my husband's going through so many issues um he wasn't working from September until I think it was like the middle of December he went back to work for two to three weeks and he lost his job and then now he's working for a temporary job. We know what his health re reasons are, but February was a short month. January, I beat my biggest um, month ever in January. February was a short month and I was scared. I didn't think I was gonna hit 4K that first week, but then I saw the momentum. I saw my distributors like wanting to work and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to work. Um, you need a team, but you can do it on your own too. And, but when you have a team that's working beside you and they're saying, Hey, you know, I have this promoter. What do I do? Throw them in a three-way chat. I have this customer that has this going on. What do I do? Throw them in a three-way chat. If you are not comfortable, this is the one thing I've learned. This is one thing Amanda keeps telling you. I keep saying about screenshot the conversation. If you're not comfortable about talking about, some product you never used, like expand. I've never used expand before. If I'm not comfortable talking about that, I'm going to screenshot it and say, hey, anybody take this because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> truly, truly honest. Yeah, throw me in a three-way message. That's what three-way messages are for, is when you do not know how to handle it. It is not meant for somebody else to do your job. So that's kind of Can we get an amen there? 
you know your three steps. You should know the VIP 800, VIP 1600, the three-way chat. Can we just all quote Jess right there? It's for <laughs> you to expand when you don't know, right? Yeah. It's not, oh, I've got somebody asking me questions about the, the Thrive experience. Can I throw you in a three-way chat? That is a waste of time. That yeah. is a waste of time. They should be signing up with the person you're putting them in a three-way chat then if you're not going to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, that's just the real talk, real talk, right? Jess, your story is incredible and it's inspiring to so many people. I do want to say this. You guys, last year she even went to conference and she didn't even have money to spend for food. She didn't know how she was going to figure it out and what she was going to do, but her ass got there, okay? She got there and she, and guess what? This year, her and her husband, despite all they've been going through, they're both going to conference this year, both of them. And now she's got a nice little bonus that she just earned last month. That's going to help pay the way there. And she's going to go for 12 K this month. And I, I want you guys to believe you have to believe you have to stop limiting yourselves. And when you start doing the things like Jess just told you, Get, the, get those messages, those screenshots. Show up. You know, I've got people asking me right now. I mean, some of, sometimes you just can't make it, okay? Like, I have somebody messaging me. She just got home from cheer practice with her daughter. She wasn't able to hop on in time. She's asking me about the 54321 um, and how these groups and March Madness, all this stuff is working. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I don't know. I'm still catching up myself. Can I just say real quick about it? Yes, please. So, yes, please. Okay, so just really quick, you need to have a team of four, and it has to be your rank. They are, she is allowing if like you're a team with three 12 Ks, you can have a four K on your team, but she would prefer try to keep it in your rank Four people. Doesn't have to be on your team. Can be sidelines, can be anybody Four in your rank. If you have any questions, go and watch that. I'll put, I'll actually put it, I'll put it in the team page, the link to the video. We don't have a whole lot of information just that you need to do five, four, three, two, one. It started the first we're counting from the first. So you need to keep track, whether it's tallies using the 54321 sheet, using that amazing sheet that was put up earlier, but keep track from the first. We have, whoever the team leader is, has to submit on the 10th. And there's a lot of people. If there's still teams that people need people, yeah. um, there's a lot of people that have commented, but I'm going to break it down for you all. You got to start asking people to be in your group. Yeah. I'm not putting people together. If somebody commented there's 4K and they haven't freaking put that they have anybody, then ask them. You got to ask. You got to be bold. bold. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So you have to fill, once you get your team of four, you have to fill out that form. You have to pick a team leader and they're going to be in charge of submitting every week. So the first week is going to go from the first to the 10th and the game runs on the 11th. But the thing is, you're not going to know if that's the week that she's picking the five, four, three, two, one points, or she's picking the lives and locals points. So you need to do all of it as if your life depended on it. And you're not going to know, you don't know right now who you're playing against. You don't know how many lives they're doing. You don't know how many reach outs they're doing. You don't know. So the huge thing with this is if you have three other people that need you and three other people that are depending on you, you get in that group chat with them and you push every single day. I promise you, you're going to grow and you're going to get so inspired and so excited because three people are counting on you to do the work and to show up. And it's going to be huge. And you do this for this whole month. It'll be a complete habit by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 There's so many gold nuggets on this zoom. So if you're not um, 4k yet, is it 4k if they want to go 4k is that what it is and then if they are a 4k but they lost rank would they go for the 12k since they've already been a 4k it would kind of go either way they could either do the 4k or the 12k at that yep. point right yep i personally suggest if you've lost rank that you still go for that next rank advancement yep. goal because if you don't start treating yourself like you are at that rank that you earned already, then you're constantly not going to be believing in you. And um, in my opinion, I feel like you need to take yourself to that next step. 
Um, because if not, you're just basically telling yourself over and over again, you're not worthy of being whatever rank it is. And that's just simply a lie. And I don't want you guys to believe that at all. Um, yes, I had told her to find a group. She's like, well, all the leaders have been in Punta Cana. Like, okay, so here's the deal. Um, I just read on the side, it is nobody's job for anybody to pair you with anybody. Jamie Pekka, I don't ask her for permission when I'm going to work my business. I work my business. You don't need your sponsor. You don't need a leader. You don't need anybody. There's tons of comments, tons of posts out there, people needing groups and, and, and things. You guys, latch on to three people you've never talked to before. Don't get in a group of people that, you're, that you guys give each other permission to not work. Get in a group of people that, I don't know, maybe you need a Jamie Pecka in your group or something. Because she will just tell you, go shut your mouth and go do it. <laughs> but no, it's because it truly is a point where you have to say, I either want this or I don't. I'm either going to earn this or I won't. But you have to make that decision. The decision to show up, the decision to make it happen. Um, I can tell you, um, I mean, person after person after person after person, um, yeah, uh, Felicia. Yeah, that's exactly. She just, as soon as people start commenting, she was like, okay, can I, you want to be in a group? You want to be in a group? You want to be in a group? Boom. They had four people, you know? And, and the thing is, is that you have to make that decision for you that you're going to show up. And then when you do that, you just start asking people, okay, let's do this, you know? And then they're going to keep you accountable. If you're already in a chat, you guys got to keep each other accountable. Um, Ashley, one last thing I got to ask you if you're still on. Yes. Um, is that video from Team Thrive Nation or is there a link now? It's on Team Thrive Nation. Okay, because I'm going to be honest with every single person on this Zoom. I am not adding every single person to Team Thrive Nation. First of all, I'm not friends with every single person. Second of all, there are thousands of people on our team pages. There, it's impossible to sit there and add people. And aside from that, they can't even keep up with the approvals at all so um maybe we can video it or screen it or something in order to get it i thought she was going to upload it to youtube um but maybe you could just type up or do a quick video of a rundown of it ashley somewhere maybe you think because you kind of summed it up pretty quick you know what they can no, watch this no. zoom they i can, can watch zoom Okay, otherwise I can do a video. I just put all the links for the teams and the message too. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, guys, it's already 10.07. I know it's getting late. Um, I've been traveling for what seems like a year. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up. Um, does anybody have anything last minute things that they would like to add tonight? Um, I just, I hope and pray that every single one of you will not take anything off the table for this month. Like if you want to go 4k, then every day work towards it. And, and my God, let me tell you this. And this is the last thing I'm going to say. You all have so much to bring to the table. Please, please, please start sharing on the team pages, your wonderfulness. Okay. Because when you get an idea or something that is working for you, that is how you become a leader. That is when you start growing the confidence of being a leader. When you decide that you're going to start sharing, when you decide that you're going to start giving, giving to others selflessly because you just want to help. And guess what that happens? You start attracting people, guys, to you. Because you elude that confidence of you've got your shit together and you have something to offer others. So I want each and every one of you to start believing in yourselves and this month to be the month that says, you know what? I am a leader because I said so, right? You are a leader. And when you start acting like that leader, you start showing up like that leader, you're going to start attracting the people that need to be in your tribe. All right? 
So I love you all. I hope everybody has an amazing, amazing night, amazing week. Set some goals. Don't let yourself down. Keep showing up and know that we're going to be back here next Monday. I'm going to be on the damn Zoom at six o'clock in the morning because if I don't, I'll look bad and uh, I need to get my butt back in gear, right? And back on track. So I love you guys. I hope everybody has a good night and thank you so much, um, Jess and Ashley and Kayla for sharing. Bye guys. Good night. I'm glad you made it home. Me flipping too. <laughs> I was worried about it.